Welcome back, Cocoholics. Uh, another MTB uh, episode for foul mouth fishing. Um, I was hoping to have this out on video a lot sooner. Uh, I had, you know, as always, I like to follow the weights of the boxes when they're shipped from uh, Mystery Tackle Box Shop Carl's towards me. I follow, I track the, the shipping number. Uh, this weighs just a little under a pound, so it's not exactly what I'm looking for. I like I like when these boxes weigh like 1.6 pounds, 1.3 pounds, 1. Point something. Um, this is like 0.9, so it's just under a pound. Um, although that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not going to have a lot of good baits. It does allude that I'm not going to have a lot of terminal tackle, because typically when you have a bunch of weight in there, tungsten or lead weights, uh, that'll raise the package weight. So hopefully there's not a lot of terminal tackle and there's more actual baits. Um, with that said, I originally had this scheduled that uh, my estimated date of delivery was the 11th of June. Today is now the 16th of June. So five days after I should have had this in my, in my front door uh, mailbox, it kind of uh, showed up. But it showed up nevertheless, so I'm grateful for that. Uh, if you don't know what MTB Mystery Tackle Box is, it's this handy dandy mail order subscription where uh, you can get three different tiers, a standard, a pro, and this is the elite, their top line. And they ship you a bunch of ta terminal tackle, uh, lures, um, occasionally some lower end uh, items like uh, you know face shields and things like that, hand sanitizers, soaps, things like that. Um, and you get these delivered to your front door every week. Uh, well, excuse me, not every week, but one every month. And uh, you get uh, you get your you know a mystery of uh, of baits. So you get things that you might not normally you know come across in your day to day shopping at your local uh, fish and tackle shop. But uh, you know, nevertheless, it's it's good, especially in the environment we're in right now, where you can't. Well, now things are finally opening up. But when we couldn't uh, go out and exactly shop the way we wanted to, you have at least something to look forward to once a month in your mailbox. Um, this is the June 2020 box. I uh, actually was watching a lot of other presenters, so I'm assuming that I'm going to have a lot of the same box items that they got. Uh, typically, everybody gets roughly the same items. Occasionally, I have been pleasantly surprised not to uh, get what other people have. Uh, here's the inside fan fold. The fan fold typically shows a little ruler, and they have some contests where if you go out, you take this with you, open it up on your boat or your bank, and, uh, and fish if you catch a trout, a panfish, a bass, a walleye, or whatever, you can you can measure it out here, take a picture of it on this board, and uh, you know put it on the social media site for Shop Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box, and you can win prizes like discount card codes and uh, sometimes even free Mystery Tackle Boxes. In every MTB, you should find a few handy dandy things. One is let's get to the bottom of the box here. The Dibbles Digest. It's a little pamphlet, little tip and trick, little uh, brochure. Uh, today we have Carl's Fishing Test, a little quest Q&A. And on the inside we have Buzzing a Boot Tail for Big Bass and Squaring Up and Bumping Cover, and I see some lipped crankbaits in there. So I probably have some, some diving crankbaits and some paddle tail swim baits in this box because typically they... They publish the brochure to, to coincide with some of the baits that are in the box. You also get a what's in your box card and it'll list all the items that are being shipped to me this month right there. I'll leave them linked, priced, and time stamped so you don't have to actually watch this whole thing. You can skip to exactly what lure you want uh, to view in the uh, description below. I have in this box two, four, six, eight baits. So. It's not a heavy box, but it's also not a light box. Typically, I get between, you know, seven, eight to ten items in my box on average. Um, cool sticker, a little decal. This one is the bass on the motorcycle. I've seen this in the other unboxings that I've witnessed. Again, I was hoping to get this on the 11th and put it out, but uh, obviously, better late than never. So we'll start at the top of this list, and uh, we'll go through the items as we see. Lunker Hunt Link. $13.39. So, Lunker Hunt name brand item. And I have one of these already. Uh, not in this exact pattern, uh, but I know for a fact somewhere in my crank box, or not my crank box, probably well, might be my crank box, my jerkbait box, probably my jerkbait box. Uh, I think I have 
this. This is the Lunker Hunt joint. Um, it is a four and a half inch, one quarter ounce linked bait. So they call it the Lunker Hunt link. Their color on this is called Grass Snake. Kind of gives you that baby bass profile look, uh, which is good because we've just had the spawn. But you'll see you have a little bit of a snake style pattern on the top. And basically what this is is two separate little baits that are linked together. They put a, instead of having a third treble or a second treble on the front bait, they use a, a tie and they directly link it to the second bait which has two treble hooks. So uh, rather than having you know your treble on this bait and the line tie to the front of the second bait, they just link it together, human centipede style. Um, these do work pretty well. Uh, I used to do this with some crank baits, uh, occasionally with top waters where I'd get two identical baits in two, two separate sizes, so like a two inch and a one and a quarter inch, and I would use a split ring to connect the, the, uh, the tail uh, treble. I would take that off and use a split ring to connect that to the line tie of the smaller one, or I'd run a small uh, liter of monofilament or, or a fluorocarbon, and I'd tie the two together. And then this way I'd get a walk the dog, and it would look like a, a bait fish tree chasing another bait fish, or two bait fish just swimming in unison. And you could get a couple extra strikes on lethargic fish when it was really kind of finicky, it was something that I would kind of last resort go to. It has worked in the past, and it is, again, you know, reiterating what I said the last time I got one of these, it's nice to see Lunker Hunt, uh, major manufacturers, doing something that, uh, you know, was an old, tried and true, traditional kind of gimmicky thing to do back in the day. It's nice to see, you know, production level quality stuff instead of us jerry-rigging it. But uh, that's pretty cool. Again, Grass Snake, quarter ounce and uh, 1339 for that lunker hunt link bait it might might not work um, next Weston's brand Weston's a high-end brand this is their magic minnow magic minnow that's the Weston Weston minnow comes in a box Weston okay. Weston Weston's magic minnow it's a uh, 11 gram on the head it weighs 11 grams on the soft plastic. So you have a soft plastic that's 11 grams and a jig head, swim jig head, that's also 11 grams. Total weight coming to 22 grams. The color on this one is sparkling green and it's just basically a paddle tail swim bait. Um, you know, it's just a minnow, minnow pan uh, swim bait. It's got that, that uh, almost, almost translucent. It's, it's very milky and it's got like a silver uh, paddle sheen inside. Um, with some green gold and blue flake on the top with that, uh, you know, muted green, uh, grayish blue top. So it definitely looks like your typical minnow, shiner, even full of bluegill pattern with this because of the color scheme that it's got. So you can definitely do a lot of natural uh, bait fish presentations. Typical swim jig. Um, let's see if they have a hook set size. Uh, hook slot and belly. They're not listing the hook. I'm gonna say it's a, I want to say a three out or a four out hook in the uh, in the belly. I can't quite make it out. I'm not gonna take this out because I might actually throw this um, in an upcoming giveaway. Lord knows I have enough soft paddle swim baits, and uh, that's a good brand. So it's nice to see somebody have something of, of a little bit good quality uh, to come their way. Next, Livingston Lures Pro Ripper. Livingston. Livingston Lures. I did see this in an unboxing. Um, this is your typical lipless crankbait. I have many of them. It's got that large uh, teardrop front nose, so it displaces a lot of water ripping through the through the the, uh, the water above grass lanes. But what's cool about this Livingston being what they are, um, it's gimmicky, but it it might might not work. Inside here is a small computer chip, battery, and a little speaker uh, that will give off a dying bait fish sound. So typically, if you can set the two, hopefully you're picking that up, it's just got this almost like a muted cricket or, uh, or frog chirping sound to, to, to mimic, uh, you know, a dying bait fish, uh, you know, the 
kind of sound. God, that's terrible. <laughs> I apologize for the terrible sound effects. But, um, it, you know, it's, it's gimmicky. I mean, it's like the... Um, it's like all of those things, the, 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 the flashing lights, uh, the, uh, this is just playing on the ultrasonic sound, uh, you know, and the, and the sound wave machines that you put on your boat. Uh, those, they work. They do work. I mean, they'll call in fish from a long distance. It's, it's almost cheating to, to be able to play a series of different sounds underwater through, a, through a, an aquaphone, a stereo speaker, underwater, and and trick those fish into thinking that there's a school of fish dying or something breaking on the water that might intrigue them to come over and, and rile them up. Um, will it work? I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit gimmicky. I like having some technological advancements in my in my tackle box, but nevertheless, even if it doesn't work, and long after the uh, you know the, the the battery in here dies off because it is only limited to whatever the battery length in in this is, um, at least you have a nicely colored and patterned uh, lipless crankbait. Um, they call this EBS Smart Chip for bait fish sound. The color on this Pro Whipper or Ripper is called Freshwater 44. Oh, it's a Freshwater 44 is what they call it, but it's a Citrus Sparkle is the the color. So you got the Citrus Shad pattern, Shad dot, and you've got your you know your lime green, a little bit of blue on top, orange on the front, a chartreuse bottom. Not bad. Um, I'll be interested to see what this this does. Nevertheless. That, the Livingston, is $9.49. So we have the Lunker Hunt for $13.39, the Magic Minnow from Weston is $9.99, and the Livingston Lure Pro Ripper is $9.49. Next, Vexen Lures uh, Nokin. So the Vexen, I don't know what this is going to be, yep. Another crankbait. This one is the Shelby Shad, and it is a 21 gram, 70 millimeter, and uh, it's just a lip crankbait. Three quarter ounce depth of three to four feet, so that's perfect for me and my my fishing territory. Uh, I like to run shallow as best as or as often as I can, uh, just because I like top water bites to begin with. And shallow when they're not biting right on top, shallow is the best next best thing to see them come up from below. Look at your polarized glasses and see them swirl and come up and, and take your bait. That's always fun. Uh, the Vexen's Deep Thud, so it's a thud one knocker. Three quarter ounce, and they got this one again at eight dollars and ninety nine cents. Decent treble hooks, I will say. I'm probably gonna have to change those out. So you got definitely that nice knock uh, coming out, and uh, got that chartreuse on the bottom again. There's that spot, nice uh, avocado green on the on the bot on the back of it. Runs down to that brilliant yellow. I like that. That's uh, definitely going to go into my, my lipped crankbait box, along with all the others that I have. I'll be interested to use that. Um, Castaic has an Atlas spinnerbait. Uh, Castaic. Atlas spinnerbait. Looks like a fish and swims like a fish. So, you've got a double willow in chrome with a white and silver skirted double... Will leaf spinner bait. Uh, this one, uh, they don't give you. See, they don't have a weight on it. Uh, three eighths ounce, three eighths ounce spinner bait. It's interesting that it's upside down in the package. <laughs> so, can stay egg that way. Your information's here, and the bait's spun upside down. Oh well. Anyway, uh, not bad, not bad. I like it. Um, probably give that away too. We'll see what happens. So I'll keep that in the package. Willow blades are great, um, especially during the summer season. If you got uh, clear water, definitely you don't need a whole lot of extra vibration. If you have murky, murky water, I always switch over to a Colorado or an Indiana uh, just because it gives off an extra thud and it lets the, the fish on their lateral line locate that, uh, that lure a little bit easier. Uh, I also tend to go to a brass color in dirt murky water, which might be convoluted and backwards for most people, but... Uh, typically, you want a shiny flash in dark water to, to kind of catch a glimpse of light, what little can pass through. But I stick with the chromes and the whites and uh, natural colors, you know, on my spinner blades when I'm looking at clear water. And then I go for the black and the brass and the copper tones and then bright orange and bright chartreuse in dark, dark murky water. Um, that's just me. Castaic Spinner, the Atlas is $7.99. Three more to go. 
Wave Fishing's Tiki Snake. Tiki Snake. Wave Fishing's. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, they have a little Tiki Man icon. So I know what this is. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a, a little curly tail lure. There's a little curly tail. And you've got basically the profile of a goby. A, it's got a, uh, you know, the diamond snake head, typical, you know, like a copperhead or a rattlesnake head. Um, but then you're looking at like a goby profile or a lizard profile just lacking the appendages. Um, doesn't have much of a smell. Uh, it's typically just just the, the plastic, you know, your, your uh, plastisol smell. Um, they suggest rigging it wacky, Texas, Carolina drop shot or weightless uh, on a weightless hook. Um, it's fish food, not people food. So I guess that's their way of saying uh, not for human consumption. Although if you eat plastic, I think, you know, you deserve what you get with a, uh, <laughs> a long, long trip to the commode. But uh, anyway, uh, it's not bad. This was green pumpkin and red flake. Uh, always a good color. I like to fish that color. Um, they don't typically have an actual color on it, but I can tell it's green pumpkin and red flake. With a little bit of black peppered in there as well. I, I would really like to see how this works. This is another uh, bait that I think would work well. Again, Texas rigged uh, primarily, or weightless rigged, uh, just behind a, a nice little EWG hook. Um, I might even, this would also be good next season for bed fishing. I think this would also work, because this does give you that goby, that lizard, that, you know, uh, anything that has a curly tail is always good. And even if you were willing to sacrifice the head portion of it, you could snip these down and run that curly tail uh, because it does have a nice bulky long body for your spinner bait trailers or your buzz bait trailers or just off a jig head. Um, this would make a good trailer as well. So you can always multi-purpose your baits. Um, again, the, uh, the Tiki Snake is $4.99. Also $4.99. Uh, another item that's probably going to end up into the, okay, it's definitely going to end up into my giveaway. You got a 3 8 ounce original uh, Z-Man chatterbait in green pumpkin. I've got a million chatterbaits, uh, you know, everything from the originals to the, uh, the customs. Uh, obviously, I have, um, you know, in conjunction, I have the jackhammers from Evergreen. Um, so I've got more chatterbaits than Carter's got liver pills. Um, that one, again, $4.99. And finally, last item on the list, uh, to keep this thing uh, to under 20 minutes, <laughs> Northland Tackles Mimic Minnow Tough Tubes. Also saw these in. These are just tubes pre-rigged with the jig heads. And a very ominous Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice color. <laughs> I'm sorry. I look at that. I got to say, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, so where's Michael Keaton going to come out? Uh, from nowhere. You got three and a half inch little little minnow uh, color mimic uh, tubes. Three and a half inch and they are in Ghost Tiger is what they call this color. Uh, what well, they call it G-H-O-T-I-G. -G. White, black stripes. Ghost Tiger. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that, that title. Um, Northland's excellent, excellent lower company. I, I love tubes for small mouth. Um, crappie, you know, it works. So we'll we'll see. Maybe uh maybe these will end up in a thing. Maybe they'll maybe they'll end up in my tackle box. I'll I'll let that lie to future decisions. And that's it for today. Uh, and for the June mystery tackle box. Again, I apologize for not having this out earlier in the month. Uh, it would have been nice to have it on my doorstep when it originally was anticipated. But you know, I'm not in control with of UPS, USPS, and for whatever reason they start in one company and then they ship it off to another company and then that company delivers it to my door but whatever uh nevertheless it's nice to have at least it's in my possession and i didn't lose it i did order something from mtb from shop carl's uh that is specifically going to be given away uh in the upcoming month so stay tuned definitely like subscribe and share uh this video and share my channel to all your friends and family if they're interested in fishing tackle advice uh tips tricks uh, ways to save money, certainly ways to spend money, <laughs> whatever, uh, you know, tickles your fancy when it comes to fishing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'm glad I didn't keep this too long. 
uh, I tried as best to kind of just, you've you got tons of other people out there doing these unboxings for June, so you can get their critiques as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you for staying with me. Thank you for watching. We're, we're growing every day. I think we're at 560 now, something like that, maybe even more. Uh, I'm, I'm in awe. I never thought I'd have this many people willing to, uh, to listen to me talk about things and try to share and dispense a little bit of information. Uh, as always, I'll catch you on the next cast. Fishaholics, peace.